subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you know when live we go hello and welcome to today's dns session we are going to have a discussion on today's newspaper the hindu delhi edition dated 17 july 2021 we shall take up articles important for civil service examination and discuss them as per the demand of the exam there is an article on page number 1 up can't proceed with kamar yatra amid pandemic say supreme court supreme court was not convinced with the proposal of the state of uttar pradesh to organize symbolic kamar yatra previously the state of uttar pradesh has submitted in the supreme court that they will not be organizing any pilgrimages there is another article just beside this article on the front page rising cases in maharashtra and kerala a cause of concern says the prime minister the situation is exactly the same as it was before the second wave the cases were rising in the state of maharashtra and kerala and then it took the toll on the entire country the same is happening today supreme court out of this concern has asked the state government to reconsider their idea of symbolic kamar yatra in the oral observation the bench have observed that article 21 right to life has the pride of place in the fundamental rights chapter of the indian constitution article 21 is given the highest prominence in the chapter of fundamental right it is available even to foreigners even in the case when article 19 the right to freedom is suspended for example in case of detention or imprisonment even then article 21 holds supreme court after the enforcement of indian constitution has given widest interpretation to article 21 Article 21 trumps all other basic rights. Justice Nariman observed that health of citizens of India and right to life are paramount. All other sentiments including religious sentiments are subservient to the basic fundamental right of right to life. So the fundamental right of citizens right to life trump all religious sentiments. what we are going to do now is to have a discussion on article 21 the way supreme court has interpreted it over the period of time the liberal and wider interpretation of right to life began in us in one of the most celebrated case mun v leonis justice field ruled that word life is more than mere animal existence and it embraces within itself not only physical existence but also quality of life quality of life will begin from right to livelihood right to decent employment right to live in clean environment right to choose your sexual partner right to choose whom to marry right to education so right to life entails all other rights which are required to have a quality of life justice field also observed that personal liberty not only means freedom from arrest detention and false or wrongful confinement but also covers those rights and privileges that are essential to achieve happiness with freedom there is no meaning of liberty without existence of freedom liberty and freedom are inherently linked take a good note of this upsc has asked a question in 2015 does the right to clean environment entail legal regulation on burning crackers during diwali discuss in the light of article 21 of indian constitution and judgments of the apex court in this regard you have to discuss whether article 21 entails right to clean environment and does that require regulations on burning of crackers then in 2017 upsc has asked a question examine the scope of fundamental rights in the light of the latest judgment of supreme court on the right to privacy the putta swami judgment how this judgment how inclusion of privacy under fundamental right is going to increase the scope of fundamental right and as such rights under article 21 then in 2019 upsc has asked a question in the prelims examination which article of the constitution of india safeguards one's right to marry the person of one's choice so you understand you have to know which are the rights included under article 21 you have to understand the implication of supreme court's judgments on widening the scope of right to life you also have to understand how the doctrine of progressive realization of rights have been applied by the supreme court of india in widening the scope and meaning of article 21 article 21 right to personal liberty was tested by the supreme court right in the beginning after enforcement of the constitution in 1950 
Supreme Court then, in the famous A.K. Gopalan case, narrowed down the meaning and scope of personal liberty. The court ruled that term personal liberty meant only freedom of the physical body and that Article 191D and Article 21 have to be treated separately. Article 191D is right to freedom to move freely throughout the territory of India. This is right to freedom of movement. The court ruled that right to freedom of movement should be completely seen disjoint from right to life and personal liberty meant only freedom of the physical body. So personal liberty under Article 21 is linked only with your physical body, not to be seen in conjugation, in attachment, in conjoinment with Article 191D. That means freedom of movement of your body. So the court took a very narrow scope of Article 21 that the liberty is liberty of physical body. You must be let to be live. Harm should not come to your body. Maybe you should not be beaten red and blue. Bruises should not come on your body. It is related with your physical body. So A.K. Gopalan case narrowed down the scope and the meaning of Article 21. But from here, the meaning, scope and prominence of Article 21 has been ever expanding and increasing. In Khadak Singh versus State of Uttar Pradesh, Supreme Court strike down the UP police regulation that allowed the domiciliary visit by the police to Mr. Khadak Singh. Domiciliary visit meaning visit to the house. Police used to visit to check on him as to what he is doing. Supreme Court was the opinion that this is in violation of Article 21 and Article 191D. Supreme Court said that the personal liberty of Article 21 meant much more than mere animal existence. Supreme Court did not link these two. These two were made disjoint in the Gopalan case. Supreme Court has yet not joined it, but Supreme Court considered these two together. Supreme Court said that this domiciliary visit is violation of both personal liberty and right to freedom of movement. And this set the stage for the reversal of the Gopalan case. The Gopalan case was completely reversed in Menka Gandhi versus Union of India case. The passport of Menka Gandhi was seized. In that case, Supreme Court gave the widest interpretation and increased the scope of Article 21 up till the horizon. Supreme Court said that the expression personal liberty in Article 21 is of widest amplitude and it covers varieties of rights which constitute the personal liberty of man. And Supreme Court said that Article 21 and Article 19 go together and they must mutually coexist. Without freedom, there is no liberty. So Supreme Court created a duet of Article 21 and Article 19. Supreme Court said that they are linked together so much so that even if there is a law that does not violate personal liberty under Article 21, but still has to meet the challenge of Article 19. Because then the scope of Article 21 was not very wide. It was, it was related literally to right to life. Freedom and choices were not much the attribute of Article 21. But Supreme Court started making it stronger by linking this with Article 19. So even if a law is not directly in that scope then was violative of Article 21, still it has to pass the test of Article 19 because Article 21 and Article 19 mutually coexist. There cannot be liberty without freedom. Then in the continuation of Menka Gandhi case, there were some other cases like Francis Khoreli case and Bandua Mukti Morcha case. The outcome of these three cases was Supreme Court gave the first right giving wider interpretation to Article 21, right to live with human dignity. So right to life was made broader right to live with dignity and this dignity will include adequate nutrition, clothing, shelter and even facilities of reading, writing and to express oneself. So again the relation of Article 21 and 19 was enforced but this time Supreme Court went ahead and converted the duet of right into trinity of right. Supreme Court for the first time had this stand that any law that deprives a person of his or her life or personal liberty must pass the test of reasonability and the law must be just and fair and must provide for a procedure and these comes from article 14. So article 19 was already linked with article 21 in the Menka Gandhi case but in subsequent cases Supreme Court linked up these two articles with article 14. 
meaning personal liberty and freedom cannot be taken away even in special circumstances without a procedure established by law that procedure has to be reasonable it has to be just and fair so this trinity of rights exist for indian citizens and all three are mutually coexistent in any situation in any scenario in any issue when you have to judge whether the rights can be compromised whether state can make rules to balance it correct it with some other thing whether liberty freedom can be taken away from situation can be taken away from citizens in special circumstances you will apply this test of trinity you will look at the situation from this prism of trinity of rights now you should be aware of certain rights that has been brought under the scope of article 21 by the supreme court you should always be aware of some of the supreme court judgments and be very handy with them so that you can bring them in in your answers during the mains examination supreme court has included right to livelihood under article 21 right to life very early on municipal corporation used to collect certain fee called as teh bazari teh means satah satah means surface bazar means market teh bazari refers to the marketing the selling of things by hawkers in the olga telis versus bombay municipal corporation case and sodan singh versus delhi municipal corporation case supreme court held because no person can live without the means of living supreme court in various judgments included right to education as fundamental right and because of these judgments it got place under article 21a supreme court also has ruled that prisoners also have right to life and citizens have right against illegal detention we already have understood and discussed the prominence importance of article 21 it trumps all other rights even when rights of other citizens have been taken away right rights under article 19 in confinement detention imprisonment during emergency but rights under article 21 can never be suspended supreme court has declared that solitary confinement of a person in jail is violative of article 21 this was declared in sunil batra case supreme court also has declared that right to legal aid and right to speedy trial is part of right to life under article 21 poor person has the liberty to apply to the state for free legal services you must also note that right to speedy trial is also an inalienable right of every citizen of the country this was declared in the famous husain ara khatoon case right against sexual harassment at workplace also has been included within the scope of article 21 by supreme court supreme court laid down important guidelines to protect and prevent any kind of sexual harassment of working women at a workplace this was done in the famous vishakha versus state of rajasthan case it is also known as vishakha guidelines after vishakha guideline sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 was enacted then the famous right to privacy was included in the scope of article 21 in putta swami judgment as a consequence of this judgment right to choice of sex was also declared as fundamental right within the scope of article 21 in the tej singh jauhar versus union of india case supreme court struck down section 377 of ipc effectively decriminalizing same sex relation between consenting adults as the immediate consequence of this lgbt individuals were permitted to engage in consensual intercourse so not only right to choice of sex right to choose life partner also has been declared as part of right to life this has been reiterated by supreme court in various cases but this right was brought under the scope of article 21 in shakti vahini versus union of india case in the famous velour citizens welfare forum versus union of india right to clean environment was made part of article 21 you must also have heard of aruna shanbog case in this passive euthanasia was allowed by supreme court because right to die with dignity was considered part of right to life by the court this was reiterated in common cause versus union of india in 2018 supreme court also has declared right to disclosure of dreadful diseases as part of right to life so a person marrying another person is entitled to be informed of his or her fiance suffering from dreadful diseases like aids 
Supreme Court also said that doctor declaring this information will not be violating privacy of the patient. Now we come back to these questions. You might be able to attempt them with more strength now and you must attempt these questions. Does right to clean environment entail legal regulation? Does it? Discuss in the light of Article 21. So you know that right to clean environment has already been declared as part of Article 21. You also know that Article 21 trumps all other rights. And you also know about the trinity of Article 21, Article 19 and Article 14. A situation must be seen with the prism of trinity of these three articles. Legal regulation on burning crackers during Diwali. Was that reasonable? Was that just? Was that fair? In the beginning, we also saw that right to life will trump religious sentiments. This is the declaration ruling of Supreme Court. You can link that here in the answer. This article is from page number one of today's newspaper. Bail orders will be sent instantly to jail authorities by the new scheme rolled out by Supreme Court. Sometimes, even after the Supreme Court passing the bail order, it takes days for the prisoners to get released. What happens is the jail authorities, they wait for the hard copy of the judgment and that takes time. This is not about just the jail authorities. This is how the government departments work. Even the interdepartmental communication that is done in hard copy. So Chief Justice of India expressing his shock, his disappointment at the state of affair has said that in this time and age of information technology, we are looking up in the sky waiting for the pigeon to deliver the message. To overcome this problem and to obviate the need of the pigeon to come and deliver the message, Supreme Court has rolled out a new Supreme Court has rolled out a new scheme called FASTER. FASTER here stands for Fast and Secure Transmission of Electronic Records. This mode of communication will be used by Supreme Court to instantly, directly, and securely transmit information electronically to other jail authorities, district courts, and high courts. Supreme Court had to come up with this scheme because delay in release of convicts after grant of bail affects their liberty and dignity. Dignity as part of right to life under Article 21 we have covered in the previous article. Right to life entails right to livelihood, right to decent employment, right to make choices concerning your life partner, right to live in clean environment. All that ensures a dignified life. We also had a discussion on liberty. Liberty is associated with freedom. Article 21 mutually coexists with Article 19. Carrying forward from what we have discussed already, we'll have further discussion on liberty. Liberty, as we have talked about, comes with freedom. Freedom to make choices. Freedom to make choices will come from availability, accessibility, affordability of resources, and the capacity to use it as per our choice. This is the modern definition of liberty. Liberty is not just absence of restraint, but the ability to use the resource as per our choice. Liberty is a fundamental promise of constitution. Liberty has been defined by the trinity of preamble, article 19 and article 21. The preamble of India promises to give citizens of India liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship. Liberty mutually exists with freedom. In the Menka Gandhi case, Supreme Court established the mutual coexistence of Article 21 and Article 19. Article 19.1a talks about right to freedom of speech and expression. Right to freedom in general is related with protection of life and personal liberty of Article 21. Article 21 trumps all other basic rights given to citizens. It's a fundamental promise of Indian constitution to citizens of India. Liberty is a very important thing in a functional democracy. Liberty helps in realization of one's full potential. Liberty is intrinsic in any social setup. The fundamental basis of modern governance comes from the social contract theories. The social contract theories given by Thomas Hobbes, Rousseau, John Locke, they all talk about rights and freedoms given to people who come together to form a social setup and function under social contract. The capability approach of Amartya Sen, this gives the modern concept of liberty. Liberty, as we have talked about, is the capacity to use the resources at our disposal as per our choice. 
and the capacity to use it is nothing but capability developing capability ensures liberty liberty entails development of capability and realization of one's full potential in manohar pratap versus union of india case of 2019 supreme court has observed that people have basic rights stressing that without basic rights one cannot realize one's potential to enable liberty the concept of fundamental duty of citizens have been added many of the provisions of fundamental duty like developing scientific temper enables recognition of others rights others individuality respecting others choices so the constitution of india does not only recognize the provision of liberty courts actively enforce it and the constitution itself has provision for enabling the liberty of citizens liberty helps in maintaining one's individuality against the pressure of majoritarianism the evolving lgbt rights in this regard is a stellar example of liberty for citizens of india supreme court very famously declared right to privacy as fundamental right under article 21 in the putta swami judgment as a consequence of this you know that in navteet singh johar case supreme court struck down section 377 of ipc it enabled legalization of same sex consensual relation supreme court observed in navteet singh johar case that an individual's right to develop one's individuality against the demand of social conformity must be recognized this is liberty at its core in shabri mala judgment supreme court observed that individual freedom prevails over group rights prevails over demand of social conformity even in the matter of religion without liberty individuality cannot be sustained in society liberty brings dignity liberty to make choices liberty to take decisions bring dignity to human beings aristotle has said that dignity to human beings come from ability to make choices without liberty citizens do not have dignity liberty helps in criticism liberty enables freedom of speech and expression it helps in creative work to protect liberty in this regard supreme court in ranga rajan versus p jagjeevan ram case said that mere threat to public order cannot be the ground to suppress freedom of expression supreme court also has said that the criticism of government however severely worded cannot be considered as sedition the courts have been protecting the liberty of citizens to speak their mind and you see here the mutual existence of liberty and freedom the mutual existence of article 21 and article 19 liberty also brings fraternity in the society to understand this you need to understand first that for liberty you need to have equality liberty is linked with freedom suppose there's a five star restaurant as such you have liberty to go anywhere you want but you really do not have the liberty to go and dine in the five star restaurant because you may not have money true liberty comes when there is true equality in society you can make choices when choices are accessible in the beginning we saw this definition of liberty liberty comes with availability accessibility and affordability of resources and then the personal capacity to use it as per the choice capacity generation has to be on individual level but availability accessibility and affordability has to be on the social level so for liberty to exist in true sense there has to be availability accessibility affordability of resources for that you need equality in society when there is equality in society there is no relative sense of deprivation there is no tussle there is no competition only then fraternity can exist otherwise one community one sector one gender will try to outcompete the other because resources are not available to everyone not accessible to everyone not affordable for everyone hence arises the constitutional trinity of liberty equality and fraternity without equality there is no liberty without equality there is no fraternity so without liberty there is no equality without equality there is no fraternity if there is no fraternity that means there is no liberty all three are mutually linked with each other all three mutually coexist you cannot have expectation of one in the absence of others so in that sense liberty brings fraternity in society liberty also helps in social progress liberty helps in progressive realization of rights like gender equality rights to transgender interfaith marriages these can be ensured only if liberty of citizens are ensured 
And in this sense, if you look at the recent Supreme Court judgments like Shabri Mala judgment, triple talaq judgment, the recent Shafin Jaha versus Ashokan case, in this Supreme Court asserted the right to marriage as central to constitutional liberty. Supreme Court said that the right to choose one's partner is intrinsic part of constitutional liberty promised to citizens of India. In Nalsa case, Supreme Court recognized the third gender. So liberty to maintain one's individuality, liberty to choose one's partner against the pressure of social conformity, they have been progressively realized by Indian citizens by A, the promise of constitution and B, enforcement by the courts. Liberty brings creativity, it brings constructive criticism, these helps in good governance. Supreme Court has ensured that the liberty to speak one's mind, the freedom to express oneself, they are guaranteed for Indian citizens. In Shreya single case, Supreme Court struck down Section 66A of the IT Act. It criminalized putting some grossly offensive content online, but these were loosely worded words and the section was misused. In the Common Cause versus Union of India case in 2016, as we have already seen previously, Supreme Court observed that comments against government, however strongly worded, if shun violence, if does not involve violence, are not sedition. Now let's see one of the questions that was asked in the prelims examination of 2019. In the context of polity, which one of the following would you accept as the most appropriate definition of liberty? Protection against tyranny of political rulers, absence of restraint, opportunity to do whatever one likes, opportunity to develop oneself fully. After the discussion we had, you should not have pain and trouble in solving this question. And the same should be true for this speed test. The first question that I have for you is this, which of the following is are correct? Liberty is the test of equality. Liberty is essential for fraternity. The answer is both of them. We have seen the trinity of liberty, equality and fraternity. Liberty comes only when there is equality and only when there is equality there is fraternity. With fraternity there is more understanding, citizens fulfill their fundamental duties and hence the rights and the choices of others are respected. With fraternity comes liberty. And that's how the circle is completed. But without equality, there could not be liberty. And liberty is essential for fraternity. Second question for you is, which of the following cases widened the scope of liberty for Indian citizens? Case Puttaswami case, AK Gopalan case and the Aadhaar judgment. Think of the answer quickly. The answer would be, case 1 and case 3. In the A.K. Gopalan case, Supreme Court gave a retrograde concept of liberty. It disjoined Article 21 and Article 19. In case Putta Swami case, Supreme Court declared privacy as a fundamental right under Article 21. And with that, many other rights became fundamental rights. Like right to choose your partner, right to the bodily autonomy, the reproductive rights. So definitely case Putta Swami case has a strength and liberty for Indian citizens. In the Aadhaar judgment, Supreme Court declared that Aadhaar cannot be made compulsory. The right of choice must remain with the citizens. Liberty is about freedom, choices. Hence Aadhaar judgment also has a strength and the concept and scope of liberty for Indian citizens. The next question is this, which of the following is part of Article 21? Right to clean environment, right to travel abroad, right to access internet. We have seen previously in the Velour Citizens Welfare Forum versus Union of India, Supreme Court declared right to clean environment as the fundamental right under Article 21. In the Menka Gandhi case, when her passport was seized, it was declared that she had the right to travel abroad and that is a fundamental right. Supreme Court in various recent judgments has declared that right to access internet is a fundamental right. Internet as such in itself is not a right guaranteed to the citizens. But use of internet, accessing internet is related with other fundamental rights like right to do trade online. That is part of Article 19. Right to education, Article 21A. Right to privacy, Article 21. Supreme Court has linked right to access internet with all these three articles in recent judgments. And hence, by virtue of that, right to access internet is part of all these three articles and also Article 21. So it will be taken as part of Article 21 also. The answer would be 1, 2 and 3.
Now see this question. Which of the following implies liberty to citizens? Freedom of a speech and expression are subjected only to reasonable restrictions. And rights of citizens can be restricted only by procedure established by law. And that procedure has to be just and fair. Which of these implies liberty to citizens? Freedom can be restricted only on reasonable grounds. Otherwise, the freedom has to be guaranteed. With freedom, liberty is intricately linked. So this definitely is the answer. Statement 2 is also implying the similar thing that you can restrict liberty, but there has to be a procedure established by law and that procedure has to be fair and just. In other words, it has to be reasonable. It can be taken only on specific ground, only by law. The law has to be fair and just. Restriction has to be reasonable. So, these, so both of them imply that liberty has to be enjoyed by Indian citizen. Which of the following judgments have given precedence to individuality over the group rights? Navtet Singh Johar case, Shabri Mala judgment, Shafin Jahan vs. Ashokan case, Meenka Gandhi vs. Union of India case. In Navtet Singh Johar case, section 377 was decriminalized. In Shabri Mala judgment, precedents were given to individual right to worship rather than the social belief or culture. In Shafin Jahan vs. Ashokan case, it was asserted by the Supreme Court that individuals have their right to choose their partner. Choosing partner is intrinsic part of a meaningful life that is inherent in liberty promised by the constitution to the citizens. So in all these three cases, individuality has been given precedence over group rights. But in Menka Gandhi case, the situation was not of individual right over group right. It was the case of liberty. It was the case of tyranny by state. So Menka Gandhi case will not fit into what has been asked in the question. Then this last question for you is the new scheme faster, fast and secure transmission of electronic records will be implemented by Ministry of Law and Justice. Well, this is a scheme of Supreme Court. So this statement is incorrect. There is an editorial article on page number six, Overdue Review. This is related with the question that has been raised by the Chief Justice of India regarding the legitimacy of sedition law, which is still prevailing in India after 75 years of independence. It has been touted as colonial legacy by CGI. CGI has asked the government as to why this colonial legacy should continue in independent India. We do not know as to what will be the fate of section 124A, but a healthy discussion has already started. Until then, you just need to know the basics of sedition law in India. For this, you can refer to the DNS of 3rd of May 2020. Now, it's sir very elaborately discussed about the provision of sedition under section 124A of IPC. Now we have what we always have at the end and you should do what you always do at the end. Goodbye. Take care.